Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or hi if you're new, it's Libby. Today I'm filming my Christmas book haul. Now, it's a decent size book haul. I actually got some books for Christmas, so this also includes the book I bought myself and my giveaway prize. I have to be kind of quiet because my nephew is asleep back there, but um, we're going to start off with the two books my best friend got me for Christmas. She got me Mother Knows Best and The Odd Sisters by Serena Valentino. Now I have this entire series that I can just binge once I get the correct order. So, um, thanks to her, I have this whole series. I'm excited to read them. These are the villains of the beloved Disney movies that we know. This is Mother Gothel, and this is the Evil Queen. I think. I don't know what the Odd Sisters is. It's got the poison apple, so we will find out who this one entails. So, I got these two from her. My giveaway prize I wasn't expecting to win it. Um, this was an add-on, the Truly Devious series by Maureen Johnson. I have read these and I've been meeting to get my own copies and then I won the giveaway and here they are. Um, but I'm excited to give these a reread and just go from there. The other book I think that was the main prize was an early copy of Nine Liars by Maureen Johnson. This came out on December 27th. I got mine the Thursday before Christmas, so I got mine early, so I'm very excited for that. So I still can't, haven't read it yet. I don't know why. Um, I'm excited to read it. Hopefully I can squeeze it in before the end of the year. We will see. There's today and tomorrow. No. Today's the 29th. There's today for tomorrow and Saturday, so hopefully I can squeeze this in before the end of the year. But, um, we'll see what ends up happening. This follows, again, our main character, Stevie, and she is a senior at the Inglam Academy, and it isn't going well for Stevie because her boyfriend went to study abroad in London, and then he approaches her with a cold case. That was never solved. So, you know where that goes from there. She likes to solve mysteries. And I love this cover. It gives me fall vibes. The leaves, the staircase. And yeah, I just, I just love it. So, there's that. The book I bought myself is Amari and the Great Game by B.B. Elston. This is the sequel to Amari and the Night Brothers. It's a signed edition. Right there. I'm not going to go too much into this because it is a sequel, so there's that. But I'm excited to read this book and see where it goes. And the cover, I didn't realize that was under the dust jacket. So it matches my first, my hardcover edition of Amari and the Night Brothers. I'm excited to read this. I'm excited for almost all of these. This one, the next three my aunt got me for Christmas. I picked them out, but she got them for me. Um, I did not know that Adrian Young came out with this. Saints. And um, this follows Elias, who is um, one of the crew from Namesake and I did not realize she wrote his story, so I'm excited for it. It's just under the dust jacket. So I need more pirate books in my life. So, um, <laughs> so this is gonna this cover is giving me the namesake cover vibes. So the other half of his face will be the next book, and they'll just connect together. Then she got me. Holly Jackson's newest book, Five Survive. This is her, this is a book after 
It's a whole new series. Five survive, a group of kids go on a road trip, and someone ends up getting killed, I do believe. And they have to figure out who the murderer is before the next one goes. So that's all I know about this one. That's all I need to know about this one going into Holly Jackson's books. So. Then the last one she got me. I didn't realize was YA. I thought it was adult. But apparently it's um, YA. Never Getting Back Together by Sophie Gonzalez. This is like a bachelor thing. He's trying to find somebody and then these two end up falling for each other. That is all I know about this one. So I haven't read YA Contemporary in a very long time. So, but I'm looking forward to it. And this one has a little pink rose under the nose jacket. So, um, I'm excited for this one. I have been for a while. And we'll see where this one falls. Now, these next three I'm going to mention briefly because no one talks about these anymore because of what the author did a few years ago so but this series still holds a place in my heart because it's what got me into reading when I was younger when my grandmother bought me the first book so and yeah, so my stepmom and my dad got me the illustrated editions. Prisoner of Azkaban. One and two aren't on here because I already own them. But Prisoner of Azkaban. Goblet of Fire. And... Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling and the illustrator is Jim K. So I'm excited for these but yeah just wanted to mention those briefly because they are part of this Christmas Bacall because I did get them for Christmas. These are Christmas slash birthday present because my birthday is in two, two days so I'm a week after Christmas. So, this little guy's birthday back there is tomorrow. So, yeah. That is it for my Christmas book haul. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these. What were your thoughts? And I hope you guys had a wonderful, lovely Christmas slash holiday. If you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe down below. And turn on the notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I post and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.